So in Penang, we adduce evidence to show that in a transparent tender, we still have seen cases where 60% still goes to the Malays. Now, there is a hypothetical question. What if we have, uh, introduce a transparent procurement tender policy? All the tenders go to the Chinese. What happened? The first is a hypothetical question. It's not going to happen that way. This is not 1970. This is 2010. So these guys, not only are, is the policy obsolete, their mind is also obsolete. <laughs> yeah. But assuming this happens to be a problem, then, I mean, the, 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 the successful Chinese com companies will be told, make sure that you give adequate training and exposure in the subcontract system to the other communities. Not only the Malays, the Indians, the Ibans, Kadazans. Can it happen? Yes. If leaders are not corrupt, and they don't work in terms of commissions, it can be done. Now, that's purely economic. Now, of course, we have education uh, problems involved in education. I've got the figures here, but I think uh, probably you can uh, go to the website and look at the figures, because I've had used these figures in um, Parliament about um, the gap between savings. We have very high savings, <coughs> very low investments. Indonesia, Thailand, the Philippines, lower saving, higher investments. Now, I'm not comparing anymore to Singapore and uh, Taiwan and Korea. We are out of this. Even if we do, not if, when we do take over, we'll have to start, unfortunately, at that threshold. They move up. The difference is when we um, I was um, uh, giving this best wishes, Sin Yen Bian Pu, Sin Yen Hao, Nian Nian Hao, for the Chinese New Year, I said, Nian Nian Hao, only under Pakatan. Under BN, Nian Nian Puhao Puhao. <laughs> now, education. Look at our standard of education. We used to be, used to be. Every time, used to be. You know, Malaya used to be. <laughs> no? Premier institution in the region. Now, hardly. 150, 180, number 200, no, at least we are in the group, in the league, number 200 in Asia. I mean, Chula Longkorn, Tamasa, perform better than us. What is wrong with our system? Because we're not able to appoint, I mean, to ensure first, academic freedom, second, not the most competent, leaders or vice chancellors who want to have a Malay. But that Malay must be an Amno Malay. And that Amno Malay must be subservient to Amno. And uh, some of them might be able to write good poetry in praise of Amno leaders. <laughs> Why can't, and I say this in parliament, why can't we just uh, allow for, even among the Malays, choose the best, academically profound, and um, give opportunities, get two or three top Chinese scholars who can manage university and give them this challenge. You are not going to be a Chinese vice chancellor just to take care of the Chinese. We will sack you if you do that. You are supposed to be a Chinese vice chancellor to take care of Malaysians, Chinese, Indians, and Malays. Similarly, a Malay vice chancellor or an Indian vice chancellor. So, what's wrong with that? We get the best. You know what's going to happen? We will then better quality education. So we're not only talking about democratization of access to education, but democratization of access to quality education. I give this challenge in parliament in front of this AMNO MPs. I say, look, I was invited by the governor of Medina and, and the government of uh, Saudi Arabia to speak, uh, give a keynote address to the um, international convention on education, because they were at that time planning something, the new uh, university. I don't know, 7 billion, or one of the most expensive universities. And they have identified the former vice chancellor of the University of Singapore, a Chinese, as a vice chancellor. Oh my God, this is haram. <laughs> so I asked, uh, this is interesting because I wanted to have this uh, dialogue with the governor and the um, convener of that program to, to be able to use it uh, in Malaysia. So I said, uh, Your Royal Highness, May I ask you a rather impertinent question? You have so many bright Arab scholars in the world. Why can't you take them 
as your vice chancellor. And uh, he was looking at me a little bit stunned and surprised that I did ask that question. And then he said, um, Well, we are bringing them back as professors, as deans. I said, Why, why must you take this Chinese from Singapore? He said, Well, we have these people, bright, uh, prominent, uh, impeccable academic credentials um, among the Arabs. But none of them had the experience of running and managing a university. This uh, Chinese, uh, ethnic Chinese vice chancellor of the University of Singapore is academically profound and had the experience, and we thought we should use them, use him in Saudi Arabia. So I told my colleagues in parliament, I said, what's wrong with us? We're not taking Chinese from Singapore. We're taking Malaysian Chinese. <laughs> and the bright ones come from Penang. <laughs> yeah. so, and, and how do you, how do you then, uh, uh, I mean, condemn me as pro-Chinese? You see? Um, I used to be pro-Jew. <laughs> and now I'm pro-Chinese. So it's... Um, it's, of course, better in terms of uh, the Malay crowd, you know, this little dulu kalau ejen Yahudi sekarang, ejen Cina, okay lah, not too bad. You know, because, because you, you can't, you know, deal with them, engage with them. I mean, it, 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 you are dealing with, uh, you know, semi-literates. So the, the discourse is not a reason, reason discourse, but it's a discourse on, on, on slogans and labels. Pengkhianat Melayu. I said, siapa yang kianat? Siapa yang kianat? Yang kianat itu ialah orang yang guna kuasa. Use their power. Okay? Taking Bumi Putra, shares. Who? Without exception, all the key UMNO leaders have taken Bumi Putra shares or contracts or perks or land or timber. That is treachery because you are given, you are the trust to lead and not abuse your position. So I think uh, not only among Chinese, but the Malay students, you have to open up and, and, and argue the case out. You just, just uh, play. They say, what? Well, we're selling our soul to the Chinese, and particularly the DAP. In Perak Niza, it's a classic example. He, is pre he was even prepared to give land titles to Chinese. See, is that sinful? Of course. This is a Malay country, we have to go protect the Malay interest. If we don't do that, we are finished. So, <laughs> I say, okay, okay. So you don't. Never compromise. Say, yes. And then why do you give the whole Gunung, Genting Highlands to the Tao Chinese? Okay. <laughs> and this, is, this was actually a real, I mean, real dialogue between me and one Amno MP in the canteen of uh, Parliament House. And then he said, No, Allah, Dato' Sri so slow. Dato' itu dulu. <laughs> what about Bukit Tinggi to the second big, uh, biggest Chinese tycoon, Vincent Tan? The whole Bukit. Well, seems okay. Yeah, that's a trouble with you. We don't, we don't, we don't want to argue with you. you know? <laughs> Yeah, but there's a thing. I say, what is, what is wrong? I'm a Malay, you know? I'm a Malay. I'm not going to shake this responsibility. I'm not, I'm, I'm telling you, I mean, Chinese here, or Indians, or Malays, I am, remain committed to defend the position and the rights of the Malays. But I will do that as a Malaysian and continue to defend and be just and fair to my Chinese and Indian and Iban and Kadazan friends. Why can't it be done that way? I'm a Muslim. I try to, I mean, not only understand, but continue to practice Islam. I believe in it. I train my children best I could, Rwanda's good friends there, to be practicing Muslim. But you don't use that to denigrate others, to insult other religions, and to deny their right, including the word Allah. I'm convinced that is the right position to take. 